Oh, we're good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So I read a book for you. You ready? Yeah. I reread The Cat Turned Her Eye. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. And so do you remember last week you said uh, the reason that you asked me to read The Trial was because you wanted me to suffer? Well, I, I did, I'm not sure I put it exactly that way. But I think that was definitely... <laughs> So reading, <clears throat> reading The Catcher in the Rye, which I, I read, it, I, I thought it was one of my favorite books when I was a teenager. Reading it as an adult is a harrowing experience. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult. Uh, <laughs> like, you're in the mind of this teenager, 16-year-old boy, Holden Caulfield, um, and he's like damaged. He's like a... a unstable mentally ill child and he's, he's actually going through like really traumatic experiences that you infer a, a, as you read it like you find out that his um, younger brother died of leukemia mm. um, one of the schools that he gets kicked out of um, his like roommate or friend of his jumps out of a window and dies so he has like you know, recently like he has a, a, a brother that died younger brother um, suicide victim um, there's implications that he's like kind of been molested by teachers mm. like he ends up in like teachers bedrooms a couple times or like <laughs> he, he ends up in one teacher's bedroom in the beginning of the book and then at the end of the book, he's in, um, he goes to the teacher's apartment and they like set up a couch for him to spend the night. And he wakes up and the teacher's, while he's sleeping, the teacher was sitting next to him, stroking his head and he freaks out and like runs out. But you get the idea that the, the, the teacher probably wasn't being like nefarious, um, but at the end of the chapter yeah but what is like what are you doing yeah okay, i don't know maybe not but like i don't know <laughs> how old is he supposed to be 16 yeah like no way no way not in a million years right like stroking the hair on a 16 year old boy yeah, who's like not my son the teacher the teacher was like well i wasn't doing anything like i was just <laughs> no. and at the end of the chapter holden goes like i don't want to go through that again <laughs> <laughs> like this like little hint that he's been like abused as a child oh god um but like with, with all of that in mind you, you end up having this kid who is like, narcissistic nihilistic myth misanthropic every everything everyone is lousy and fake phony he says, he says everything's lousy um everybody's a phony um, he's in. The, he is. The whole story is I, him in a mental hospital. Telling the really because I story. remember like him standing next to the to the because I there's no parents in the story that I remember. Yeah, he ends up hearing his mother. He hides in a closet at one point and he hears his mother talking to his sister. At the end of the book, he sneaks back into his apartment to see his sister, and the parents come home. Um, and the, the mother goes in to say goodnight and put the, the sister to bed and he like hears her but that that's it that's it huh yeah but he's in the nut house yeah yeah Tell, telling huh. you the story um and through like throughout the book you nobody listens to him Every, everyone's like judging him and going like oh you know get your act together um but, like, the story that he's telling is, like, the only time throughout the whole book that you, he actually has an opportunity to, like, speak. Um, meanwhile, he doesn't do himself any favors. He's a little liar. He lies to everybody. He tells the story that he's lying. In, in the story, like, he, he's telling... I mean, he's, he's a, it's a first-person narration, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's one of the things that makes it so scary is, like, 
the, the book is incredibly well written and what it's trying to achieve it executes extremely well like you're in the mind of this kid like you're right there you're reading it and um, like all of the exper like, emotions that he's having and experiences and the way that he's seeing the world like you just go right into like that logic of his but like what, early in the book he's on the train um, and he meets a, um, a mother and she says oh my son goes to Pensy and I can't remember the kid's name and he goes like, oh, I'll just lie to her <laughs> and he goes like oh your son's one of the most popular kids in school he we actually uh, we wanted him to run for class president it, it would have been unanimous but he didn't want to do it <laughs> but it's not, it's not that bad though do you know if that's a bad lie? Well, imagine I, the mother going back, going like, "You need to run for class president." Oh, uh, the kid making going, him run for class president. What? What am I doing? I, he's, not, <laughs> he's not popular. He's well, not, they, he's not a but, popular. But you can't. <laughs> but you can't imagine that Holden's intention there was to have the mother. That wasn't his intention, but like. I mean, it could, I, I imagine that his intention was probably, hey, you know, I'll throw this kid a bone. Who, what mother doesn't yeah, like he, hearing good things about? He's a narcissist. He, oh, his intention is to amuse himself. Oh, just trick the lady into thinking that yeah, she. Yeah, but he's constantly telling people that, he, that uh, he has a different name. Uh, he, he, he's saying like, oh, my name's this, my name's that. Um, thoughts i had a cat named holden it's one of the reasons i wanted to read it holden pawfield ladies and gentlemen <laughs> uh, well that cat was a dick i will i will say the yeah. book is great okay um it's it's stream of consciousness so that there's two different things happening he, he's telling you the story of how he gets kicked out of Pensy takes the train back to New York, and he has to bum around for a couple of days before he goes back to his parents. There's different interactions, calling people and meeting people, um, but also he's interjecting memories. So it, it, it's always flipping back and forth to like what's happening and different things that he remembers from his childhood. And for as little as this thing is, it's extremely dense. There's a lot of stories going on. Um, and to have like such a simple thing, it's just a kid bumming around New York. It's very impactful. Um, I, I, I went from really liking the character when I was a teenager to like pitying him. Mm. And, and it's, like a, it's a, like a cautionary tale. And the trouble is like, he's still right. Like, but you can't think that. Like, you can't view the world and go, everybody's a phony. Nothing. That's it. I can't... I, I think we should end on, like, cut to black on yeah. that one. Uh, and it's a very dark... It's a very dark novel. Grim. Um, okay, this one was kind of... <clears throat> a little bit wild so if you'd like to leave a comment you can um, there's actually a dislike button if you didn't like it you can let me know that too dislike the video um, thank you for watching and uh, bye